Welcome back to beginningdeveloper.com. Today, we're going to be creating some Maven projects inside the IDE IntelliJ. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, whether you are in the application already, or if you are uh, just starting it up and it's brought to you to this screen, uh, the process is pretty much the same because it brings you to the same wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a new project. This is the wizard I was speaking about. Depending on what sort of plugins that you may have installed, this screen may look slightly different over here on the left, but you should find one that says Maven, and that's the one that we're interested in. The SDK that's right here is already selected at version eight. If yours is at a different version, or if it's empty and you need to add one, you simply go to new and navigate to your JDK that's installed. And that'll be under program files, Java, and JDK. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can simply go to the uh, Oracle Home and download your JDK version that you would like, uh, 6, 7, or 8, or an earlier version if that's what you're into. Uh, but I already have 8, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Next. And just like in all our previous videos, we're going to go ahead and use the same group ID. And as far as the artifact ID, I'm going to make the application called Hello IntelliJ. And we're going to keep the same version because it is still in development and it's version 1. For consistency's sake, the project name is going to stay as Hello IntelliJ. And we're going to hit finish. Now the application st should start up and down in the bottom right hand corner you'll see that it's processing everything. It's building all the Maven architecture that we need, any libraries, folder structures, and so on. Now while it's doing that, if you're already in the application, to get to that same wizard, you could have simply selected File, New, and then Project, and it'll bring you to the same wizard. It may pop up at the screen saying, would you like to add this wizard or this project to the current editor or create a new one? That's up to you. If you create it in the same one, you'll have two projects over here on the left as far as projects go. If you create it in a different one, you'll have two windows that are popped up. Now, there are pros and cons to both. We'll get in that with a later video. But for now, I usually like to keep everything inside one editor, just so that way if I need to bounce between a couple of applications uh, that I may be developing, they're all in one place. But if you have multiple monitors, you may want one in one window and uh, one monitor and one in another. Who knows? But for right now, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what, what was just generated through uh, the IntelliJ. Um, right now, it's brought us up on the editor screen. We have our POM. And of course, it's empty except for the generated um, elements, group ID, artifact ID, and version. And those should all match what we typed in. Over here, we have the POM inside the project. We also have the source folder, which we're going to go into source, main. And then we have Java here that's empty. Let's go ahead and add a class to make sure that everything is running properly. So right click, go to new, Java class. We're just going to call this main IntelliJ and then we're going to hit OK. Now we can't run it right now because it doesn't have a main method, so let's go ahead and add that. And then the system out statement. And save it. So, depending on if you have added any libraries or anything that you need to generate or build, you'd want to go up here to go to build and then make project. It's a good habit to get into if you have uh, cleaned out any resources or, or have some custom build parameters, but we're going to go ahead and do that now to make sure that everything is generated properly. And down here you'll see that it's finishing and it gives us some output. We're then going to right click this class because this is, normally you can go up here to run and then select it, but seeing as I know this class is the only one that I have, uh, it's just a little, little faster for me to be able to right click this class and go to run, and it'll find the main method. You'll see down at the bottom that in the console window is our IntelliJ, uh, hello IntelliJ message that we had typed in here. So as you can see, creating a Maven project inside IntelliJ is pretty simple. Uh, there's multiple ways to do it. Um, the two ways that we discovered here are probably the most simple. Uh, you could also create it uh, using the wizard and other means, but for right now, these are the two ways that you'll probably end up doing it uh, most likely. Uh, and follow me on the next video. We're going to go ahead and take a project that already exists that is not Mavenized and then convert it to a Maven project inside the IntelliJ IDE.